Uh, again, uh, welcome back to this segment on KIND, and that's probably a topic that uh, many in today's technology age uh, in beef production maybe don't pay as much attention to as, say, EPDs or DNA or, or a lot of the tools that are out there. But I think it goes back to the basics of, of cattle production. There still has to be a kind of an animal that works. It doesn't make any difference what the, what the EPDs are or anything else if that animal can't exist out here in grass. And a lot of our customers have no grass uh, because of drought situations. But you have to have an animal, in our opinion, that still is a, a consistent kind of an animal. Our, our Angus, we've selected for uh, nearly 35 years. The first two or three years, we uh, struggled and we used every uh, kind of Angus bull under the sun and realized that wasn't going to work. And once it got a little smarter, uh, we got the program stuck with it. And you'll see more about that in our website. But we've tried to stick with a five and a half to six frame Angus bull for 32 to 35 years. Uh, we think that that is a ballpark frame of an Angus bull that will leave us dollars. They're in that 12, 1300 pound range under normal conditions and, and normal condition on the animal. Uh, a feedlot steer that's probably gonna be in that 12 and a half to 13 type range and we hope hopefully that happens in 13, 14 months uh, in, in good condition country and, and those type of things. Uh, We've never chased the extremes, nor have we never chased uh, what I'll say the little ones. Uh, we don't uh, think that a, a real little animal, uh, there's uh, some good points to them for sure, but we have some concerns that you get enough pounds out of those uh, animals and that down the road, the consumer, it's the kind of pounds that consumer wants in red, red meat and still marbling in flavor. That maybe we get fat too quick, we have too small of a carcass. Uh, the Charolais, we're probably about a frame score bigger. We like to be in that six to seven frame. Uh, we don't want them any bigger than that. Again, we don't want our Charolais a lot smaller than that. Simply for the most part, the most of our Charolais are used for a terminal cross on, on Angus-based cows. So we, we can use a little larger frame Charolais bull, get the growth, get the extra pounds, the extra muscle, back on the, that moderate kind of a cow, British bred uh, type cow, and that's what our program is. So uh, from that standpoint, we've tried to just keep that animal, it has a lot of volume, depth of rib, uh, you know, they've, they've got a lot of place to put grass. A lot of our southern customers need a lot of volume because they've got a lot of grass that isn't very nutritious, but the cow has to eat a lot. So the volume, and it's important all over uh, the United States, not just in the south, but our animals, we like to have a lot of volume, uh, rib, again, uh, if you look, listen to our structure part, we want them structurally correct. We want uh, a moderate bone, I guess, if we can get on our Angus and, and our Charolais both. Uh, our Angus, if, if we uh, get them too fine boned, and we do have true heifer bulls that are two and three, four generations of light birth weight. But we'd like for our cow herd to be made up of more bulls that are two, three, four pounds on birth weight. And, and your first impulse may be, well, whoa, 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 I don't want that much birth weight. But in true reality, a four pound Angus bull is not that heavy a birth weight Angus bull. We've let our sales become accustomed to getting lower and lower and lower. But with that, I think we've gave up maybe a touch bone, a little bit of stoutness, a little bit of rib and volume all the way through. In several generations of really light birth weight, I'm not sure where, uh, where that will take us as far as a breed. In the Charlet breed, we do watch bone very close because of calving ease. Our Charlet have three to four generations of calving ease by AI sires. We use proven bulls. Uh, they have three or four generations of calving ease and light birth weight bred in. That's our Charlet program. And then we, we push a yearling growth as much as we can and still keeping the feet and everything else involved. But that's the kind of animals we like. We like our Charolais with some extra muscle, some extra volume. In our Angus, we want them to be a maternal breed. And we're not trying to create them into a, a terminal breed. We're not chasing dollar B, uh, for example, in the Angus breed because they fit the maternal approach. Uh, marbling and everything in the Angus have done great for, for years and years and years. And our Charolais is more of a terminal, muscle pack, power type of an animal. We also watch, try to watch disposition very close. If we have a bull or a female that flat just doesn't like anybody or anything, they go, they go to the local sale barns. We don't put up with it. So that's just a little bit of our, of our uh, 
uh, along with EPDs and again all the technology, we try to watch the kind of animal. We still like to think we have a cowman's eye in what we're doing and make sure that that whole animal fits in the environment they're in and produces in that environment. Thank you.